The ingredients you will need are potatoes, milk, salt and pepper, butter, and sour cream as well as a measuring cup for specific amounts of each ingredient. In this video, we will be using a full bag of small red potatoes. This will make enough mashed potatoes to serve six to eight hefty servings as a side dish, or for other possibilities you may be interested in, like making a shepherd's pie. Now is a good time to pause the video to make sure you have all the ingredients needed. For materials, you will need a pot big enough to boil water for the amount of potatoes you use. The one I'm using here is an 8 quart or a 2 gallon size pot. You will also need a colander to drain the potatoes, a vegetable peeler, and an electric hand mixer if you have one available. If you do not have an electric mixer used to mash the potatoes, as seen here, there are other less preferable options you can use. You can use a tool like the one shown on the right or something similar to mash the potatoes and then a whisk shown on the left to mix the mashed potatoes with the other ingredients. Now that we have our ingredients and materials ready, let's make some mashed potatoes. The first step is to fill your pot about halfway with water and set the stove top on high to get the water to boil. Next, while we are waiting for the water to boil, get your potatoes ready. Give the potatoes a quick wash. Make sure you either peel the potatoes over a garbage can or if you use your sink, be sure to put a drain stop in. Peeled potato skins do not go down your drain line or garbage disposal. They will clog your sink. Use your vegetable peeler to peel each individual potato as shown here. Use caution as the peeler is sharp and you can easily cut yourself if you're not careful. Notice I do not have my drain plug in, however since this is one specific example to show the peeling process, I did put one in for the rest of the potatoes peeled. You can either cut the potatoes into halves or quarters depending on their size. Cutting them into these smaller pieces will cut down on the boiling time needed. Your water should now be at a rapid boil. We can now drop the potatoes into the boiling water. Use caution as the water is hot. Set the timer to boil the potatoes to roughly 20 to 25 minutes. Go ahead and drain the potatoes in the colander and put them right back in the same pot. Now we will find a receptacle to plug the electric mixer in. Also put a pot holder down so that you do not damage your counter when you put the fresh off the stove pot of potatoes down to mash them. Now that you have the electric mixer and the pot of potatoes ready to go, or as seen in the next slide, these tools that were shown earlier to mix and mash the potatoes, we will go ahead and add all the ingredients to the pot of the cooked potatoes. It is a good idea to go a little light if you're not sure your taste preferences and how dense you want the mashed potatoes to be. You can always add more if you need it. You will need one cup of milk, five tablespoons of butter or margarine, two thirds tablespoons of sour cream, and one to one and a half teaspoons of salt, as well as one to one and a half teaspoons of pepper, depending on your taste. Once all the ingredients are in, it's time to mash the potatoes. I'm doing this in this video with the electric mixer. You can mix for longer and even add a little more milk if you like smoother mashed potatoes. I like mine just a little bit clumpy so I'll mix mine just enough so that they're mashed but still have lumps in them. You will want to take a quick taste to see if there's any salt, pepper, or anything else you want to add to flavor to your taste buds. And enjoy! This is how you make homemade mashed potatoes. 
If you'd like to make garlic mashed potatoes, this would also be the time where you could add garlic powder or chopped up cloves of garlic. 